Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a full handguard swap on an AR-15 from the standard handguard to a free float handguard. Um, recently I've really got into AR-15s and how to build them and such and uh, haven't got as much utility out of the standard handguard as I'd like to get so I'm switching it to a free float handguard so I can mount a light or a laser or a grip to the front of it. I don't really know yet but I'm looking to get more versatility out of it. So let's get into the video so I can show you guys how to replace a handguard on an AR-15. Alright guys, so we are going to be switching the handguard on this Anderson AR-15 chambered in 5.56. I've got a Bear Creek Arsenal free float M-Lock handguard that I picked up online for about 50 bucks. I feel like it was a really good deal. It's got everything I want. It's got QD mounts in the front and M-Lock pieces along the side and the bottom. I also picked up a gas block from Primary Arms. I got it for like 15 bucks on one of their sales. It was a great deal, and I'm really excited to put it on. The Bear Creek handguard will not fit on this AR-15 because of the oversized gas block, so that will have to be changed. So the first thing you're going to want to do is remove this portion of the handguard. So this is pretty simple. Um, they make special tools for this, but we're cheap, so we're just going to do it the best way I know how, and is pull down this delta ring and snap these pieces out. So this can be a little... A little rough, a little tough, but it's doable. Like so. And that's all it takes. Alright guys, so the next thing you want to do is remove the gas blocks. We've already removed the first Allen screw, but what you want to do is take an Allen wrench and just break it and unscrew it. Like that. So if you get that off, Rotate the gun around, and you should just be able to work this out, just like so. So the next thing you want to do is take the flash hider off. So what you're going to do is you're just going to grab it with a wrench, just twist it off. Should be real simple to do. Now you can just unscrew it. Make sure you keep up with it because you want to put it back unless you're upgrading the flash hider, and you're all good. So now that you've got flash hider off, you'll want to slide your gas block off. Slide this little ring off that holds your handguard together. And now you will be ready to take off the barrel nut. The next thing you're going to want to do is take the barrel nut off. So we're going to do it on the cheap. So we got a vice grip and we basically just put the upper receiver in it. So we're going to break the barrel nut and take this thing off so we can put the new handguard on. Alright guys, so we have the barrel nut off. Alright guys, so after you take the gas block off, you'll need to remove the gas tube. So what you'll do is you'll take a punch, and you'll just tap it out until it starts coming out, which should be pretty simple. There it is. Just like that. Now you should just be able to take that off. So now that we have everything off, we need to start reassembling the rifle. So we are going to put the gas tube in our new low profile gas block. So now what we want to do that we have the handguard off is we want to take this barrel nut, slide it all the way down. And screw it on. What you're supposed to do is take a torque wrench and torque it down, but we don't have that. So what we'll be doing is we'll take some channels. So we're going to put it back in the vise and tighten her down. So we're just going to get this as tight as we can, and we'll just run with it from there. Hopefully nothing bad will happen, but I think it'll be fine. So we'll just get a good grip on it. get it tight. Alright guys, so now we're going to put the gas block on. 
It just slides on in there. And you'll want to make sure it's aligned properly. It's pretty hard to mess that up. Don't tempt me. Now you want to tighten it down. So now we're going to install the BCA rail onto the gun. So we'll just slide it up. Make sure everything's aligned properly. So we are going to need an Allen wrench to put these on. That ought to be it. So you're going to make sure it's aligned properly. And screw it in. I did a bad job of that right there. Alright, so now that we have one in, I'm going to skip ahead to all the other ones so you guys don't have to watch me put six bolts in. Uh, catch you guys when it's done. Alright guys, now that we have the rail on, all the Allen screws are tightened. we got to put the flash hider back on. I know we're, we're not going to completely redo the flash hider because we're getting ready to buy a new one. I kind of tore this, this crush washer up putting it on but um, yeah there you have it that's how you change the handguard on an AR-15 alright guys so we pretty much did everything we needed to do um, we didn't really put the A2 flash hider back on 100% Hunter's gonna upgrade his flash hider maybe even upgrade a barrel I'm not quite sure yet but um other than that, the gun's pretty much finished. It's got a new nice thin rail on it. I mean, it was, it's pretty awesome. I love it. I think it's just as... Actually, it's better than the PSA rail that I have on my AR-15. Because it has two QD mounts for slings, which I think is pretty cool. The handguard we picked up from Bear Creek Arsenal. It was like 50 bucks, so it's hard to say no to that. Especially since it has the M-Lock and the QD mounts. It's fairly simple to put on. So, go check it out. Um, I'm not going to link it in the description because I don't think YouTube would appreciate that, but it's Bear Creek Arsenal. Go check them out. They have great deals on barrels, basically everything, so go give them a look. Um, so that, that about does it, guys. I appreciate you watching. Go comment down below. Tell me if you've ever had any luck with this type of handrail or if you've ever like used any Bear Creek Arsenal handrails. Um, Subscribe, like, and I'll catch y'all next time. And remember, take someone outdoors.